menu, the improved 15 hour potato, but this time we're going to do it with beef dripping. So you get that poured over all those lovely slices of potato, plenty of salt and they give it a good mix. And then in our layer tin, we're going to layer up bit by bit those pieces of potato. Then you're going to cover it up and put it in the oven for three hours. Then once it's lovely and cooked and soft, you're going to set it in the fridge for 10 to 12 hours. You've got to weigh it down really heavy though to make sure it stays nice and compact. And then look at those layers when you cut it out. Remember to get your measuring tape out as well. You want them perfect and then deep fry them until they're golden, crispy, and just absolutely delicious. Oh, the crunch. Oh, and again. This is going to be one of the easiest potato recipes out there. It's crunchy. Yes, it is. First of all, you're going to need some potatoes. You're going to just chop them straight up into little cubic cubes, and they're going to go into cold, salted water. And you're going to boil them for about 15 minutes until they're just tender and falling off a knife. Then you're going to steam dry them. So you're going to put them into a colander, leave them to dry themselves off. Um, in the oven, place a tray of hot oil and then toss in your little potatoes and bake them off for around 50 minutes until they're just golden like that and just so crispy. I'm going to throw a bit of rosemary on there, a bit of garlic, a little bit of parmesan and then just dig straight in to that heavenly, heavenly tray. Five ways to make sure your mashed potato is out of this world. Tip number one, when you're cutting your spuds for mash, cut them into even rounds. Number two, always cook your potatoes in cold, heavily salted water. Number three, make sure you steam dry your potatoes. So just put a tea towel over them once you've drained them. It's going to make them nice and dry and extra fluffy. Number four, make sure you warm up your cream before you add it to your mashed potatoes. Number five, add your butter to your spuds before you start passing them through your sieve. And use a sieve or a potato ricer to give you that fluffy texture for your mash. Then just add your warm cream into a beautiful sieved mash and enjoy. And there you have it. You have to stop buying pasta sauces in jars. It's literally so simple. It's only going to be four ingredients and you'll probably have them in your fridge already. We've got garlic, onion, tomato. You're going to cook that in the time it takes to cook your pasta and add some fresh herbs or any other flavour you want. You can be in control of your pasta sauce. Delicious. Now, this is the way that I like to cook rice. There's loads of different methods, but this is the way that an old colleague of mine, Evelyn, showed me. So first of all, you wash your rice, and then you use a volume of rice. So I've used this bowl to weigh out, not weigh out, but see a volume of rice, and then use the same bowl to do the volume of water. So I've done one and a half of water to the same volume of the rice. Anyway, you put it on to boil, you boil it for three minutes, take it off, put a lid on, leave it for 12, and then you have beautifully cooked, fluffy rice.